Holy sh**. <laughs> that was a hit. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There, I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna. You got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Look at the Panama! All right, another beautiful day here in Kambutal, Panama at Los Buzos. Getting ready to launch the clients. I'm gonna be in the boat today, taking two motherships down to an area we call Punta Blanca. Please don't. Please don't. Let's go. I got it, man. Cheers, lad. Oh, look, hello. Hey. Oh yeah. Do you see what colors I'm wearing today? Black and white. Black and white. What else is black and white and lives in the ocean? Uh, Ghost. <laughs> 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 oh, take me back. Uh, <laughs> Whenever you have fish below you. You guys need to make sure that your rod tip is at the front of the boat. But yeah, you guys get a run, holler out like Natty just did. We will run over and uh, coach you through it, help you uh, find success. The hardest thing is hooking the fish. Once you do that, you'll be in for a workout, but uh, you should be able to get them in the boat. So we'll be there to help you. All right, so we just dropped the kaggers here at the spot, Punta Blanca. Natalie's hooked up with something right now. Oh, it's an African pompano. He's a boat! He's a boat! <laughs> yeah! Delicious fish, fun fight, and a new species. Not a bad start, and on the jig. Of course, full service. All right, Pat here from Ireland. It's on a fish. Yeah, that's a jack. Nice one. Nice work. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Kalen's hooked up. Nice. Nice. Ross here from Ireland. Good buddy of Kevin's, good buddy of mine. Woo! He's got himself a nice jacker ball on the diver. That's a good one, and uh, they school with the roosters, man. Stay in this area and keep working it. Jim here from Yakima with a fish. Looks like a jacker ball. One of the stronger fighting fish out here. Solid one. All right. Over here watching the clients, Adriano threw the popper one time, maybe two or three pops, and just huge explosion. Thing got nailed. We're on there, no? In the side. It's a big one. Byron's hooked up again. He's going on a sleigh ride. <laughs> nice. Byron something. Looks like it's got some weight to it. Yeah, man. What is it? Dude, thing's pulling. I don't see color yet, do you? Yeah, color right back. Oh, yeah. Big what is that? Yeah, keep your feet apart like that. That's good. Yeah, it looks solid. Woo! Yeah, jack. big jack. On the oh, jig, nice. Jig. That won't come off. You can also grab him by the tail. Oh, there's something, oh, there's something following it. I don't know. Maybe it's broader. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Hold on, Mahi, 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 Mahi. Hey, Mahi? Hey, take this, take this, take this, take this. And get ready, get ready, get ready. No. Only play. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, oh he's big. He's big. <laughs> mira, mira. Hey, come here. Byron Young here about a jack off and had a big, that would be my personal best mahi for sure. Big mahi falling it. God, he hit it too and he just missed it. Damn, I wish I had something else to throw. You got something else tied on to throw at it? Small jig? Or I guess that jig. Like an XPS would work. XPS would be perfect. Nice. 
Dude, troll, troll, any, dude, anything. <laughs> Mahi will hit anything. So, uh, either keep jigging or uh, go to the XPS or troll your diver. They're not picky when they're when they're eating. They'll hit literally anything. Oh man, we were just helping uh, Byron land and, and uh, release a jack. All of a sudden, we saw some other color in the water. It turned out to be a pretty big mahi. Uh, following his jack up to the surface. Didn't have anything to throw. He didn't really have anything tied on. I threw out the popper and uh, sure enough, it went for it. Uh, smacked it pretty good, but did not get hooked up. And uh, we left the jack in the water for a minute thinking maybe it would bring it back, but uh, it didn't come. Safe way. It's a great fish though, man. They're good to eat. What is that? African pompano. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> pa <laughs> Pat here from Ireland. He thought he had a rooster. That is an African pompano. They have the long dorsal fin. Yeah, no. Africa, but hey, they're good to eat. We'll keep that guy. Yeah, it's a great fish, man. That's a great fish to catch. Very cool species. All right, we just ran over here. We're uh, at a kind of notorious bait spot trying to get bait for the five clients we got with us. Kevin's dropping down a little tandem rig with some sabiki hooks on it, as well as a little XPS jig that we love. Trying to get some moonfish, which are great live bait. And there we go. Got one. You think you got two? Oh, doubled up! Hey! Look at that! Nice. That is five. Let's just go. We can come back. Let's grab a couple. Huh? Let's grab a couple more. Three? Oh, got three? <laughs> hey! <laughs> three at once. Nice. Look at that. Uno? Uno? Dos? Tres. Vamos! I catch my own popper in front of an alley. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Holy sh! <laughs> that was a hit! Jesus! I did it! <laughs> that video is gonna be cool because I literally was like, I just want to catch something on the bottom in front of Natalie. <laughs> it was that cast. <laughs> yeah! Fish out! It's an explosion! Woo! Definitely a 60 pound tuna. Oh, that was sick! That was sick. It came out of nowhere, too. Hey, let me get the radio. Just trying to let you know they're they're down there. <laughs> so we found a popper. <laughs> no way. Oh. Wow. Big mackerel, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's a big one, bro. <laughs> wow. What? Whoa. Wow, dude. <laughs> Nice. Yeah! <laughs> Damn! That's a beast, bro! That is a beast! Well, that was insane. We're about ready to go ahead in, so I decided to throw the popper a couple times. And, uh, sure enough, huge explosion, and I did not expect to see uh, one of the bigger Sierra mackerels we've caught out here. We don't catch them much bigger than this. They're definitely bigger than this out here, but uh, to get a fish like this on the popper, that was an absolute blast. You can tell how aggressive they are. That is a huge popper. And uh, yeah, these things are great to eat. That'll make great sashimi tonight. They're a lot like the Spanish mackerel and the king mackerel we catch back home, but they're much, much tastier. Too much fun. That was a huge explosion. I did not expect that. We were thinking Jack Raval. That was a big Sierra mackerel on the, uh, on the popper. Nice, dude. We've got two nice African pompano and a Sierra mackerel in the cooler. We've had several, multiple nice jack revolves caught. Steady action all day. It's not crazy on fire, but they are finding some fish. We've got calm seas, just a slight breeze, which is just nice enough to uh, keep it cool. Everyone's set up with a bait, so we are uh, set up with success. And it sounded like Ross just saw a huge, huge rooster fish on the surface right in front of them. So they're in the area and they love these moonfish. I got a feeling we're gonna have another fish on, another run here in a minute. Natalie's hooked up, something big. It's trying to take her towards the rocks. Close to the rocks, but she's doing what she can to get it up before it pulls her into uh, trouble. That right there would be trouble. Here in a second, I may have you turn around to your right and you're just gonna have to hold the rod and pedal away. 